is the Emergency Medical Minute. Uh, so multi-trauma patient, pelvic fracture, femur fracture, humerus fracture, uh, doing okay. And then uh, you notice uh, decreasing SATs, petechiae, and altered mental status. What do they have? Fat emboli. Yes. So that's the triad for fat emboli syndrome. Uh, about 90% of people that have long bone fractures or even if they have surgery, like to rod their femur, or stuff like that will shed fat. So about 90% of people will make fat emboli, but they don't get fat emboli syndrome. So fat emboli syndrome is petechiae, altered mental status, and respiratory distress. Um, the petechiae frequently start in the axilla. So that's some place that we don't typically look on physical exam, but the nurses might notice it as they're doing bedside care, or turning patients, things like that. Um, and if they're vented, obviously you're not going to know they have altered mental status. You're just going to see difficulty ventilating them and their SATs dropping. Um, there's some controversy on any prevention measures. There are some studies that show steroids help, but most of the studies that show that are small uh, numbers or there are some um, problems with the study, um, the way that it was set up. So it's not necessarily uh, known to be true, but there may be some benefit of that. A CTA won't help you because um, unlike a pulmonary embolus from blood that um, occludes the big vessels, these are capillary issues. So they go into the capillaries and then they start an inflammatory cascade. And so what you might see radiographically is a ground glass appearance on the chest x-ray, but you're not going to see a defect on a CTA or a VQ scan. Um, and then it can progress to ARDS and you know, obviously can be fatal. Obviously, 20 to 30 percent of people have a PFO as well, so you can actually get um, cerebral issues from this, and you might see some uh, white matter changes on uh, CT or MRI that would suggest to you that there's more cerebral involvement. So um, keep that in mind if you have one of these multi-trauma patients. It can happen anywhere from very soon after their injury until about four days after the injury, and um, like I said, even people that just had their femur rotted and didn't have a huge multi-trauma can end up with it. Um, so just keep it in mind. Emergency Medical Minute is and always will be about free medical education. Medicine's most prolific podcast is successful because of our supporters, donors, and of course, our listeners. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you support spreading free medical education, please donate at our website, emergencymedicalminute.com. As always, Keep listening.